Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Creative Careers. In today's video, we are going to talk about plan sections and elevations. This is the first class of your first episode, first lesson of your uh, complete interior design tutorials. So this is completely from scratch. Those who don't understand architectural terms like plan section elevations, I'm making you understand this. And at the end, please, uh, so if you know about plan section and ele elevations, please skip this and go to the end part where uh, I have given you the things about what we are designing in this entire project. From next class onwards, keep a square book with you. Even I'll work on the square book, hopefully, and uh, we can design with uh, that thing. Uh, go to that part. So uh, who, one who wants to follow me, please uh, go through the vid entire video. It will be great help. You will revise the things and you will have more knowledge than uh, if you know very little about uh, about plan section and elevation. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'm making complete course on interior design and I talk about all kinds of design related fields, including architecture, B planning, interior design and every design aspect, especially about interior graphics and UX UI design. So please subscribe to the my subscribe to the channel. Please check out my channel for other sort of contents. Okay, thank you. So this is basically a plan, or some people even call it a blueprint. You know the way they represent everything has a reason for that. So these hatched lines, it re, the hatched lines usually represent that hatched line is a uh, that hatched line is a uh, what it's called as a it's a brick wall then you have these uh, square sort of things so these are the columns then these slided uh, half shaded parts these are the windows and they have represented even it with the wordings w and w so they are window size in the legends they will be given you what is the size of w1 then see for the main doors they have given d1 then the secondary doors they have given it as d2 and all these uh, tiny doors which are going to balcony and washrooms they are d3 because they have different sizes that's the reason they will be given uh, given in a different way then this is the door shutter uh, where and this is how door is going to swing so door is going to open and rest this side to, so you cannot put anything in this space that's the reason uh, that your uh, quarter of a uh, quarter circle it is the how door swings so where you rest your make your door rest on a wall is important usually okay so plan is never the top view plan is what you get when you cut a building at the level of the little bit on top of the window level so that little bit on uh, the window level the from where the window starts is called as a sill level and from at the a uh, portion where window ends or a where door top ends is called as a lintel level okay these are the important level systems we will understand th this in further thing and there are different kind of representation few make it a hatch thing or few completely use black color to represent the wall and uh, light shades to represent those windows so you are uh, you even have these arrows to understand what, which is the upper side see in this older video uh, you have arrow like this means you you are going up like this okay and you will enter the floor and to go next floor you have to take the this side of stair wherever arrow is shown that is usually considered as the upwards okay if it's not upwards and you should write it it's down and you should say it okay and i'm doing these uh, things on uh, uh, how uh, usually Indian standard quotes and uh, if you are watching from other countries or other part of the world, things might differ. Please understand what are, what are the particular sizes over there, okay? But usually of the door sizes are all very similar. Things which gets changed are bylaws. You have to understand and it varies from city to city bylaws. Uh, then this one has a different kind of representation. See, oh, this one didn't have your uh, furniture layouting. This plan has a furniture layout. That's what interior designers do. How exactly to lay your furniture is all we are going to discuss. And what's the reason putting the things there? 
we are going to understand okay then this is the section section is when you vertically cut a building plan was when you horizontally cut a building you will get a plan you will get where are the walls placed you will understand where are the windows placed okay and section is when you vertically cut the building what kind of things you will get you will get these foundations then you you will get the walls beams column like wherever they are cutting if you are cutting any door you will get that door till that door you will cut the wall then again you will cut the door so uh, this is not a good drawing i'll have a better drawing in the next one okay we can see in our drawing only my 3d model you will understand uh, uh, how the sections are cut okay this is elevation this is elevation from the outside exterior elevations i am i am i am showing you so see uh, you, you do you understand this your doors and your windows are ending at the same height because that is the lintel level usually lintel level is where your doors and window heights end uh, the length of the lintel level is uh, usually 6.8 to 7 7 or some people take it 7 7.5 but very few 7 is like your particular 7 feet i'm talking in feet inches but uh, industry standard people use millimeters but what happens when you go in the field for work people usually take feet inches as the measurements even when you go to buy a house no in india uh, you will get feet inches as the uh num uh numbering system even though you will learn everything in millimeters even i get confused sometimes to take uh a feet inches because i'm so much used to use in uh, metric units okay so you understand like there are two kinds of units met one is metric unit that is your millimeter centimeter and all then you meet one meter and all then there are uh, feet inches units we are uh, we will be talking in feet inches units because uh, practical works happen in india in feet inches units if you want to be a interior designer or interior decorator so let's see but uh, what is the see we don't use sections that much we we get we need sections in very few areas when we have to show the fall ceiling and when we have to show those tiny um, flooring detailings but what we majorly need is our floor plan detailing and elevations we don't need exterior elevation we need to show them interior elevations like okay this wall uh, see the photo i'm showing you here this backdrop should be like this the backdrop of my bedroom wall should be like this uh, so you need a elevation design to show that so the plan and elevation for the interior design are major concern and if you are a architect you know sections are damn important for you okay no even uh, interior designers use sections but less compared to architects okay then what we will be designing this is the amazing things uh, we will be designing a studio house so studio house those who don't know what is a studio house basically studio house is kind of a very tiny working and living area with a tiny kitchen and washroom and this is usually used by a bachelors or a very newly married couple who are just starting their career or something and uh, studio houses uh, you uh, usually bachelors prefer the studio houses to stay in because they they need very tiny space to clean and uh, they need a uh, uh, space for themselves to live and cook and have a sort of their own environment so I am taking go uh, eighteen feet by sixteen feet of a uh, area to make my studio home, and themes you can decide according to you. I am just showing you the basic plan from next uh from next one uh, from next video. We will be dealing designing the studio house and will be understanding design of everything. S uh, so this is the studio house. This is the the first door outside is the main entrance for me for me to enter in the studio house. Then I have a washroom space. I am just I have just a built wall for washroom area. Rather than everything else, I have to design. I have to design a kitchen here. Uh, I don't have uh, washroom fittings interior, so I have to understand how the plumbing line is going to work. I have to design the uh, washroom. I have to design cup. Uh, I have to make interior space where uh, 
so i am basically designing for a bachelor who is a designer who needs a space to work and space to stay and storage area and everything so i am designing a kitchen i am re- i am making a tiny working area working come living area outside and i am making a very tiny bedroom uh, within this smaller space and uh, i am giving her cupboard storage area sitting space and uh, all these beds and all these types of system in next video we will be learning about uh, anthropometry anthropometry is basically uh, understanding human measurements because we need to understand human measurements because we are doing everything for human beings right so that is very important to do to design anything given of small from a furniture to design your toilet seat you need to understand what height should it be at what uh length should it be how much space should i need to move all this we'll be studying in next episode of uh, our interior design class and that is the se- that will be your second episode so you'll understand about anthropometry so from then onwards whenever you design you understand how human how a per- what person is going to function in this space and uh, uh how much uh, how high should my furniture be or how high should my units be to uh, so they can reach them easily so let's see how our uh, room looks currently so it's a very this is the top view it just has a terrace see this is the top view i'm saying i'm not saying this is a plan this is top view usually you show this top view when you have some garden spaces outside and you are showing a site plan for any one no you will show the top view for uh, top view and you will show those all tiny detailings okay then this is the next one this is how the plan looks because i'm cutting it from the top i'm getting oh i have two windows i have two doors so my door is opening in this way my my washroom door is going to open in that way but i don't have anything uh, for uh, even for door and all i have to choose the material for the door this is completely a scratch home it just has walls and basic we have to do everything from interior constructions because we are going to learn it how to apply that thing no so be ready with your sketchbooks from the next class see this uh, i always uh, uh, write in x y formula x will be your uh, uh length and y will be your height usually when you take the graphs no and z will be third layer uh, sorry length breadth and height it it goes like this so currently it's like 16 by uh 16 by 18 inches is a uh, is what our uh, studios area is completely 16 by uh, sorry 18 by 16 and uh, i will tell you the height height is like 9 or uh, 9 feet height so let's see next this is a section part of it see what all you are seeing this you you are seeing a parapet wall you are seeing a parapet wall you are seeing the slab then you have inner walls uh one thing i'm details i'm missing is your columns are not here we we even need to take care of those columns and uh, those beams which come inside because uh, we are interior designers we we need to take care whatever that comes in okay from next in my next drawing you will see everything my columns where are the beams coming how are the beams moving all this you will understand okay so uh, see uh, here is my main door is cutting the door will be in the darker shade and uh, the wall behind the door will be in lighter shade see this much i am cutting the wall in the windows area i am cutting that uh, till the sill level then i have a lintel level so this is what i am saying so this is the back elevation then this is a another section in your home space so this is a section where which is cutting from the washroom uh, door and you can see main door from the front side so in interior design it will be uh, it will always help you to name your walls each and wall with a nomenclature either by uh, showing a b c d or 1 2 3 4 so we will also name our walls in the next video we will be having detailed videos 
uh, sorry uh, we'll be having detailed drawings how the things are going to work and we'll understand anthropo uh, anthropometry in the next upcoming videos so if you're new to my channel and watching this without subscribing please make sure you hit that subscribe button and get my videos as soon as i upload them okay this was all our, of all our in first class so hope you got you understood what is the plan section and elevation see you in the next next video and please hit that subscribe button guys thank you